All right, I'm working here in Race Tab 4.16. Um, I wanted to show you importing uh, LFF files from links and also just show you um, that it pulls in the field series and also how to edit the field series manually. So this isn't really an exhaustive tutorial about the links interface. I'm going to do it manually, but of course you can do it automatically as well, but that's for a different tutorial. So I've just got two events set up here, um, women's triple jump and men's pole vault with event numbers one and two. Um, I'm going to go to import here and I'm just going to browse to those files. I've got one right there. I'm going to import that. It'll just take a second and it gives me a little beep when it's done and then I'm going to import the other one as well. And this will normally happen behind the scenes as it integrates with links. Um, so if I refresh this, then all of my results are there. Um, so we have our pole vault results got pulled in and as did our triple jump. Um, when we go over here to the series drop down, um, we can see all the series marks. Um, the best marks are highlighted in yellow, so you can easily look through as you see the jumps or the throws, um, which ones are the best. And all this can be manually edited. So in this triple jump here, um, you know, if for some reason links didn't have something in here, we could go ahead and key something in here as, you know, whatever it was. Um, you'll see that that turned yellow because that's the new best mark. Any of these, of course, we can edit um, and it saves automatically. So when we go back, for example, this Amanda Smock should be at her 13.75, and she is. Um, one thing you didn't, um, another thing here to notice is that for the horizontals, there is a wind readings button as well. So we can click the wind readings, and we have a similar screen showing us all of our wind readings, including still highlighting which ones are the best mark overall from the previous screen, so we can easily spot those as well. Um, if we switch back back and go to the men's pole vault, um, we can see all the bars and clearances there. So if we click series button, we see all the bars. And again, these were automatically imported from links. Um, we can see the passes and the and the misses and the, and the makes. And we can see who clearly had the biggest mark. And again, this one you can feel free to edit. Um, so you, know, you can go in here and do XO. Um, and it will adjust that. Um, this guy, you know, key a couple in from here, you know, whatever the case might be. So that's about it. And oh, just to show you on the actual results, when you print these out, um, you score these first, score, and then we'll print those results. And we don't see them at first. I may make default where they show up, that seems to make more sense. But if they don't, you can go into the advanced results here and you can select to show field series and then you will see all those bars and clearances or if it was a triple jump, you'd see all the attempts. All right, I hope that makes sense to you, thanks.